Hi guys, so we've done another run out with the FG Marder and we took it to our new playground, this dusty track. How did it go? Well, the car went quite well. As we know, it's only a basic uh, car, but it actually handled quite well. Press the servos, um, the steering servo, not the most expensive, quite a basic one actually, but that worked well. The rear suspension feels really stiff on it though. Um, those shocks, I think we're going to have to rebuild them. There isn't a lot of um, suspension movement on there. I think they might have got too much oil in them. The front's not too bad, but the rear certainly you can see it when you watch the videos back. It's bouncing about a little bit. So I think we need to have a look, a look at that and see what's, um, what's going on there. Have a look at the oils. Check there's no damage to the suspension. The engine ran pretty well, started to go off towards the end of the tank. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, whether that's a mixture, overheating, spark plug issue, I really don't know. Leave a comment with any suggestions. As I say, it's a little bit of a um, dark art for me, the running these two strokes. But started well on the pull start. We've got a slight issue, this pipe, it's a noisy one, it really is noisy and it's not standard. Um, so whether we change that for a standard one to make it a little less um, noisy, that is that is an option. And the the further problem we've got is the body shell doesn't fit on it. When we run it on grass, I'm not too worried about. But when we try and run it on dirt, like we were, and you'll see some more videos in a moment, you obviously can get a lot of dust in it. It blows off easy enough, but it's nice to have a body shell and it looks better. So the problem we've got is the pipe, the tuned polished pipe doesn't make doesn't fit, and also this pneumatic thing in me don't really know what it is um, makes it difficult to fit the body shell on um, whether it improves the performance or not i don't know it might be a problem with why it starts to go off towards the end of the tank i don't know but we're going to have to have a think about the body shell um, as you see it just doesn't fit i've tried taking some of the mesh off and it really doesn't fit and i'm gonna to have to start to cut some bits about on it and you can see the rear suspension it's just bouncing all over the place um, it doesn't handle too bad actually considering it's a relatively basic buggy and it's different driving style driving these is a different driving style to an electric you've got yeah, we're good at crashing it you've got a clutch which is a little bit like having sort of a lag or certainly that's what i'm finding anyway with driving these you know you come come off and you've got to get back on the power you've got to try and keep it spinning up a little bit so it is, it is an art, and I think we will keep this car. We'll have a play about it. We'll perhaps do some workshop videos on those shocks first of all. Um, but the clutch-wise, engaging it, it accelerates nicely. We get a decent amount of wheel spin on it. I mean, this is on grass, and it's quite bumpy, long grass, but we're running it on here. And it, it runs quite well, I think. Here we are running on the dust, and it actually runs quite, quite well on here. Um, again, that rear suspension's too stiff. You need to look at that. And of course it slides about. You need to get the art of driving. You need to keep on the power a little bit more, trying to keep the engine spinning up a little bit. Um, and of course, without the body shell, it does get rather dusty. So we need to try and address that. But hope you like that. Click on that subscribe button. Let's try and get those numbers up. Let's try and get over 100, um, which is quite a big milestone for us, quite a small channel. But if you can, click on that subscribe, like and share as well. Thank you for watching.